Hey everyone, Josh from ThroughMyLens.com and today I wanted to talk about the road to Hana and some tips I have for making the most of your road trip. The windy road snakes around the eastern part of Maui as it passes dozens of waterfalls, beaches, and small towns on its way to its end in the town of Hana. It's something that everyone who loves a good road trip in the United States should experience at least once in their life, and here's some tips on how to make the most of your drive. Let's jump into it. The first tip I have is to get your reservations way in advance. Popular spots like Wainapa Napa are released at least a month in advance, and dates during popular times of the year can easily book up right when they open. You want to make sure you do not miss this beach on your trip, so note when the date you want to visit goes on sale so you can book it. Also, if you want to get a hotel in Hana, these can book out way in advance as well because there's not a lot of them, so once you know your dates, go on and see if they're available and snatch them up if they are. My next tip is that if you're renting a car, get a small one if you can. The road to Hana is windy and narrow, and there are dozens of areas where you have to yield as only one car can pass at a time. Even outside of these areas though, the road is pretty narrow and having a small car makes the tight spaces a little bit less stressful to drive. This is especially true from Hana to Haleakala National Park, which is much more narrow than the rest of the drive. Amy and I counted 40 Jeep Wranglers on our way back from Hana, and while this is a cool car to drive, there's not a lot of opportunities to off-road or do anything like that, so I'd pick a small car if I were you. My next tip is deciding whether you want to do the drive in one day or two. Most people will do the drive over one day, and this is a good way to do it if that's all you have time for, but you need to really plan the day well and make the most of it, and plan to drive a lot during the day and to start early. From central Maui to the end point at Seven Sacred Pools, it's about three hours without stopping at all. This means that there and back is at least six hours of driving, and of course you're going to want to see a lot of things along the way. Add in the fact that you have to have a timed reservation for Wainapa Napa, and it makes all of this confusing, and that's only with seeing a couple spots. You can stay in Hana, which is a great way to do it, but note that it is very expensive. Both options work, but if you do it in one day, just plan on it being a very long day. The next tip is regarding doing the road to Hana as a loop instead of a there and back. While you can drive the road along the backside of Maui, it's not recommended. Most rental car companies tell you that you cannot drive your rental car that direction and they won't cover you if you get in any trouble back there. I have some friends who have done it and while they said it was beautiful, it's also very narrow and hard to pass and dangerous in some sections. Plus some of the road is dirt and it frequently washes out in the heavy rains. You can do whatever you want, but I'd recommend you don't drive that way and so would the rental car companies. My next tip is to not try to stop at too many things. The route is very much about the journey, not the destination. So enjoy it as you go and stop when you want to stop. Note that some popular things require more planning and time to get a parking spot and to experience them. If you're doing it in one day, I'd probably plan your top three to five things that you must see before you start the drive. That way, while you're driving during the day, you maximize your time and you focus on your must see things. If you're making good time, you can always add more in. And if you're not, you can always take one away, but hopefully you can still hit your major spots. I feel like I'm just hitting these things over and over again, but my next tip is that everything takes longer than you think it's going to take. Again, this drive is about the journey, so try your hardest not to just speed through it, but to take all of the different turns and waterfalls and views in as you go. This does mean that everything takes longer than you may think. At each stop, you may have to find a place to park, often along the side of the road, then walk to the destination, then of course experience it. You'll definitely have to see at least a few of the waterfalls just by driving as there's no places to pull up easily for many of them. Having a relaxed attitude is the best way to experience this drive and knowing that there might be a few things that you might have to skip even some of your top spots. Also, if you're driving slow and taking it in and you see somebody coming along fast, it's probably a local who has somewhere to be, so pull out and let them go by. Next up, let's talk a little bit about the weather on the road to Hana. When planning your trip, you'll probably see rain in the forecast. The road to Hana is a rainforest type climate, so rain happens pretty much every day there, and that's why the waterfalls are so beautiful. We found that it never lasted for too long when we entered rain, and we went in and out of it along our drive. I also talked to some locals that confirmed this, and unless there's a big storm planned, rain is just a normal part of the road to Hana, and you're gonna have some whenever you go, so be sure to bring a rain jacket. 
Next up, let's talk a little bit about food, and food on the route can be a little challenging to find. There are many roadside fruit stands and some places that have food trucks or small cafes. However, the hours can be hard to find online and many are not even open when they say that they're open. For example, when we got to the famous marketplace, we were planning on having lunch there and the only available place was the coffee shop. The woman working there told us the others decided not to show up that day. There's always food in Hana as long as it's before 6 p.m., so you should be able to find something. But bringing a picnic lunch and just finding a spot to pull off on the side of the road and eat it with one of the beautiful views is a great option. <laughs> Following that, let's talk a little bit about the gear that you should bring. While most of this is self-explanatory, here are some of the items that I recommend. First, get a towel. You'll want it at the beach and to dry yourself off if you hit some rain. Second, grab some water shoes. Some places like Twin Falls have muddy water on the crossings and many of the hikes are muddy or wet, so water shoes help with this. In the comments, I'll link to the ones that Amy used, which were stylish water shoes if that's your thing. If you're doing the PPY trail, you should bring a separate pair of hiking boots for that. It's four miles long, so hiking boots are way better than water shoes. Of course, you're also gonna wanna bring water and snacks and everything else you would need for a normal road trip. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about how much the road trip costs and note that everything is more expensive than you think on the islands in Hawaii. Here's a breakdown of all of my costs and note that first off, the hotels in Hana are costly, but it can make for a more relaxing drive if you stay there like we did. Also, food is expensive. We spent $20 a person for every meal, even at food trucks. Even a latte along the route cost $7 and the famous banana bread was $8 when we went. We were impressed by the food and the hotels, so I didn't feel like I had wasted my money with either of them, but everything is expensive and you just need to know that going in. I think that's all the tips I have for you on the road to Hana. If you have something that I left off, be sure to leave that in the description. My wife and I had an amazing time on this road trip. It's one of the most beautiful I have ever done. I have an ebook on the road trip that you can purchase in the description, and you can see the video that I made on the entire drive right here. That's it for this video. We will see you on the next one.